tension between city leaders and the police department when it comes to issues like police staffing and sideshows. We wanted to learn more, so we requested emails. Now, these are public records, of course, and they are revealing. Our investigative reporter, Angie Ricono, joins us here in studio now with what we have learned about the status of these sideshows and what's being done about them, Angie. Right, Carolyn. And we have learned police are analyzing videos from tra traffic cameras and social media, and now police plan to send citations actually out in the mail. Sideshows have been a very visible problem for police and the city, and we've reported on it. The emails reveal some other things that police are concerned about disciplinary action and criminal liability if they intervene. When Captain writes about the lack of jail space to the city manager. To be completely transparent, bad actors are fully aware and exploit both the presence of constraints upon police and the absence of a reliable incarceration mechanism. Emails question police officers picking up private shifts for private security and second jobs when there are open shifts for the police department. And then there are questions about the Morgan Wallen concert and what happened to the traffic unit that night. An email reveals with big events, you have an incredible reduction in patrol because most of the traffic patrol unit is tied up. So here's another email and it's the response from the same police captain. Friday evening, August 2nd, Arrowhead Stadium hosted the Morgan Wallen concert. This required 30 traffic division members to provide support. Events at Arrowhead routinely require the entire traffic division, but for the 10% exception for allowed time off. Now, City Manager Brian Platt forwarded that information to Mayor Quentin Lucas, calling the situation, quote, enraging. We have reviewed hundreds of emails, and our full report is online right now. Angie Ricono, KCTV 5 News. Brad. All right.